Bristol Community College Bayhawks versus Roxbury Community College. For Cadoza here, alongside me is Mr. Craig Salvador. Craig, how you doing? I'm doing quite well today, Dave. All right. I have had my third coffee today, and I am ready. <laughs> All right, ready for, ready for Bayhawks action here as the Bristol Community College Bayhawks take on the Roxbury Community College Tigers here at Bishop Conley High School, the France Gymnasium here at, Brist at, um, at Bishop Conley High School. BCC in the white with the, green, with the green trimming, and Roxbury out here in the black with the orange lettering. And we're going to get ready to tip off here from Fall River, Massachusetts. Coach Rob Del Lue, the coach of the Bayhawks in his eighth season. BCC coming into today's game at 3-0. and 3-0 oh. and oh on the young season. Coming off a big victory Saturday, Saturday afternoon against Springfield Tech. The Roxbury men's team comes into today's contest at 2-1. and one. As we get ready to tip off here, Josh Winbush from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Six foot seven center. Getting ready to tip off here. Got the serious height advantage. Again, FR Media presents Bayhawks basketball. The women's Bayhawks team lost in the previous game by a, a margin of uh, over 70 points. It was like 116 to 42. And BCC wins the tip, and we're underway here. Here in the nightcap of our doubleheader of Bayhawks basketball. It's Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboys. Cabral the slam! The alley-oop poke to Winbush. And BCC's up 2-0. And that is how you start a basketball game with some excitement. And the BCC bench getting into it. Quite a, a little bit of a crowd on hand. Driving to the hole, and they're going to call a foul. It's going to be on Corey Green with a bump. BCC with their first team foul. We're just getting underway, folks, if you just join us. We're here at Bishop Conley High School. It's the home of the Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Right next door to the beautiful campus of BCC, right next door. Roxbury trying to get it in. Just got it in. We saw Marcus Mitchell trying to get it just out of his reach. Driving to the hole, and it was tipped away by Winbush. Going the other way is Vega. Mitchell looking to drive. Back out to Green. Inside to Vega. 12 on the shot clock. Driving to his left. Corey Green stops over the trees and gets it, gets it to go. Good job by Corey Green to get the trees up in the air. And he puts it up and through. Ooh, drive on a block. Hell of a block by Marcus Mitchell. And BCC has come out in this game, and they've set the tone. You can feel the energy here at Conley. Lombard gets it in the corner. Fall away jumper is good by number 44, Oreo Alawadara. Mitchell, back out to Pope, inside to Vega, puts it about the window and in. Nice ball movement, nice job by Pope to find Vega underneath. Sealed off his defender and put it up off the window and in. Yeah, and Good Vega job. had a great game last time, scoring a boatload of points, and he's looking to do the same tonight. Yeah, six foot four freshman, taking it to the hole. Lombard couldn't get it to go. Mitchell, corner three, can't get it to drop. Roxbury going the other way. Here's a three-point shot, no good. Rebounded by... Not sure what happened there. They're going to say it's they're going to say it's staying here. They're going to say it's Roxbury ball. Really, it looked like Uladara well, went out of bounds with it, but no, I guess not. 
maybe it was already out of bounds by the time he got it, so I don't know. Well, the shot was missed. The next thing you know, Roxbury was going after it, Aluadara. New shot clock for Roxbury. BCC coming out, playing that aggressive man-to-man. -man. And there, ooh, Vega was going for the steal. I thought he had it. Deep three. No good. Winbush high for the rebound. Six to two in the early going for BCC. Mitchell drawing, uh, dr directing traffic, that is. You know, looking to double team Winbush, but he gets it out to Green, who takes the three. And stares down his defender. And it's 9-2 to two right off the bat. BCC getting it going here in the first couple minutes. And, Craig, I'm on my second coffee, too, and I'm starting to feel it. Got to have this game bring up the energy, and Corey Green really bringing the energy. He's been so deadly this season from the outside. He sure has. He sure has, and just a freshman from Taunton, Massachusetts. You know, this team has a lot of freshmen, Craig, and they're just they're, – they're just scratching the surface of what they can be. There's a lot of new players. You got a lot of new moving parts. Only a few players returning from last year's team. Now you talk about some new parts, but you know what? You put these parts together and you got a fine ride to the championship. Well, money and rings. Money and rings. Trying to get to, trying to get to New York, but it's early in the season, November. This is the fourth game, and BCC is going to be. They are nowhere near what they're what they're going to be come come February when the games when the games are really when the games are really money games and you get you got to start playing well during the during the stretch headed towards tournament time. That's what the buildup is all for. BCC all over, all over Roxbury like a cheap suit right now. Oh, nice dribble drive. Going to his left, putting it up, no good. Rebound and a block by Winbush. Loose ball, Roxbury gets it. Some sloppy basketball. Loose ball. And this is going to go out of bounds, so it's just a question of who it went out on. BCC coming up and playing with a better effort than they did on Saturday. And, and you know, they, they won Saturday by over 20 points, but I mean, they're just they're just playing, they're just coming out, out of the gate quicker. And that's gonna be BCC basketball. Roxbury turns the ball over. Yeah, Lawrence Cherry with the steps. Let's see who's gonna who's the who's gonna be the man out there today. Oh, nice take by Mitchell. Strong take. Too hard off the glass, though. Ball never hit the rim. Ten on the shot clock. Vega steps back from the elbow. Jumper, no good. Tipped up by Pope, but he couldn't get it. Marcus Mitchell draws a foul away from the ball. So turnover, BCC's ball now. Yeah, it looks like it was a moving screen there. They're going to call a foul away from the ball, like you said, Craig. Nine to, nine to two here in the early going. Vega to Green in the lane, gets the foul, and they're going to wave off the shot. But they are going to call the foul. And they're going to call that foul number 20. Lawrence Cherry. Mitchell to inbound for BCC. Out to Pope. Pope driving to his left. Puts it up. Strong. And just gets it to go. The Pope. Dropping it at home. Quincy Pope with such a quick first step. Quincy Pope, one of the sophomores on this team, one of the leaders of this young team. Her returning starter was one of the top players in Region 21 last year, and they got him 
Oh, and off the, off the miss of the free throw, Josh Winbush, nobody had an answer for him. And that's six foot seven. And they rarely have an answer for Winbush when he goes up for the rebounds like that. I was gonna say at six foot seven, it's gonna be hard to find an answer for him. The slender freshman coming in. Getting some hoops. And you remember Josh Winbush, he, despite, despite a big victory by BCC, Josh Winbush was hard to find in that game on the offensive end. And in the first game, he had 19 points, a quiet 19. Looking for Josh Winbush to really assert himself and start to uh, attack the basket offensively. We've seen him a lot with his defensive skills, you know, when it comes to rebounds, steals, and blocks. But as you said, you've, uh, we haven't really seen him assert himself as a really a dominant scorer that he definitely could be. Well, you see him, you see him passing the ball off a lot, but I mean, I think he's trying to find himself, try to find himself in this offense. But um, you only expect him to, to improve. He's got such length that I mean, he's just putting his hands out there and tipping balls and then blocking. And then he's, you know, he's blocking shots. He's definitely a huge defensive presence. And that's something BCC I think has lacked the last few years. They've lacked that that rim protector, that shot blocker, that guy that's going to intimidate other teams when they go inside. They got that in Josh Winbush. But like I said, it's just scratching the surface of what I think he could be. The potential is definitely there. BCC with the man-to-man -man press. Driving baseline. No way to go with it. A nice pass, no good. Yeah, miss coming off. Here come the Bayhawks. Green going the length of the court. Oh, what a block! But then Quincy Pope is there to, to clean up the mess. What a block, though, by number five. That was just a lucky Kobe bounce. Smith. really ended up in Pope's arms. Yeah. But Kobe Smith was like, get that mess out of there. But Pope was there to lay it up and in. BCC just all over Roxbury, smothering them. And they can't, they can't hit it by a bucket. Pope going. Shovels it up to Winbush. Back up to Marcus Mitchell. Mitchell crossing over. Fall back, no good. In the corner for three, no good. Another miss. We're almost seven minutes in this half, and uh, BCC's defense really limiting the Roxbury at only one field goal. This is the opposite of the women's game, Craig. In the women's game, the Roxbury women came out 18-1, came out to a huge start. And Roxbury is finding themselves down 15-2. Travel called on BCC, causing the turnover. Corey Green, boy, BCC does a great job. They get, a, they do a great job of making you work. As, as I say that, going into the basket is Lombard for two. Dwayne Martin in the game now for BCC, going to his old high school teammate, Winbush, back up to Vega, and that was a. That was a tough turnover there. Yeah, Damian Martin tried to get the pass off and just couldn't. Just went right into Roxbury's defender. Ball 42 left to play in the first half. 15 to four, BCC off to a good start. A little hesitation move, he gets it underneath. 
Wimbush couldn't block it. Underneath this, Kobe Smith with the lay-in. And Roxbury, BCC seemingly, despite being up 15-6, to six, seems like they should be up more. Pope out to Wimbush from the free throw line. Jumper, no good. Rebounded by Imer Ortiz. So Roxbury hanging around. Driving, spinning in the lane, losing oh. control of it. Imer Ortiz for three, short. Coming the other way, Corey Vega. Vega speeded all the way to the basket. Coast to coast for two. Corey Vega all the way to the rack. BCC with so much team speed. They get a bunch of guys that can slash to the basket. Coming in is Steven Torres. Went to New Bedford High School. He'll come in. Corey Green will come out. Hakan Artakoban in, and that's a three-point shot. Yeah, Roxbury's starting to go on a little bit of a run. Yeah, just out of nowhere. That was by Jeffrey Tab for three. Jeffrey Tab coming in for the Roxbury Tigers. Driving to the lane, using his body, dipping that shoulder into his Martin. Vega loses control of it, and Roxbury, his Tabs, kicks it in the corner. Three-point shot, no good. Rebounded by Hakan. Quincy Pope trying to drive with it. And BCC starting to play Helter Skelter basketball. And we haven't seen them play like this in a long time. Maybe since last year. They're really, they're really out of sorts right now on the offensive end. Playing kind of playing kind of wild and careless right now. Yeah, they've been passing all around the court, but when it comes to getting their shots down, they just haven't really been able to score as much as we've uh, been used to seeing them do this season. Spinning. Kobe Smith gets it blocked by Coban. No, nope, Tav's got it, though. Kobe Smith at the elbow. No good. Another rebound. Driving to the hole, putting it up, and gets it to go. As soon as Josh Winbush Jameson comes out of this Santos. game, BCC struggling with the rebounds. Quincy Pope didn't even hit the air. That was an air ball. Ball hasn't hit the rim. Shot clock winding down. Mitchell to a cutting. Pope stops the bleeding. 19-11. So BCC, who came out the gate, 15 to two. Sees Roxbury going a nine, it was a nine to two run until that last basket by Pope. 19 to 11. Driving, tabs. Gets his defenders in the air, puts it up off the glass and in. Lovely move by Ta Jeffrey Tabs. In the corner for three, Torres way off. And BCC's coming over the timeline, and they're just shooting one shot. They're not being the patient team that we've seen them in the first few games, Craig. And we've seen them with the patience, and they've been so good from the outside throughout the season so far in the young season, but not getting to go as much today. Patience is the key, my friend. And Marcus Mitchell got a block. I think he might have drawn a foul in the process. key attribute for a man to have is patience. And right now, BCC has not shown that on the offensive end. They're really coming over. Instead of, instead of getting into their offense like we've seen them, Craig, in the, in the previous few games, they're playing, they're playing more isolation ball right now. They're, they're playing more hero ball, coming out and just shooting the, you know, the first shot that is, uh, that is open to them. You know, we've seen them have more opportunity, I mean, excuse me, continuity on the offensive end than this. We've seen them have more motion, guys cutting to the basket, you know, moving the, you know, shifting the defense around. They're not doing that right now. They're coming over and just heaving up shots and throwing careless, you know, cross-court passes and seem like all out of sorts.
Coach Rob Del Lou rallying the troops. BCC trying to get back to basics, get back to the game plan. And right now, Roxbury, like I said, BCC came out 15 to 2, Craig. And I think BCC sometimes have ten they have a tendency to do this. They kind of they take the foot off the throat. They let the other team hang around when really they could be blowing Roxbury out of the gym right now. Yeah, definitely. The game's still young, though, so we'll see where it goes from here. And Wimbush just takes that away. And there you go. Quincy Pope finds a cutting Marcus Mitchell, go slashing to the basket. Nice play by Pope, and he, I think he might have got hit on the arm there. He's favoring his arm. BCC appears to be in zone right now. Roxbury turns the ball over. It's going to be BCC basketball. Marcus Mitchell with the basketball. Mitchell looking Mitchell. to take it himself. Corey Vega will ch look to check in for the for the Bayhawks. He'll come in for Quincy Pope. Those two guys kind of mirror each other. I'd say yeah and build, but I'm not too sure about play style. It seems Zachary Vega very good down low. Um, not much really from a shooter, though. Or Quincy Pope. Uh, Quincy Pope kind of does a little bit of everything. Yeah, Zachary Vega's 6'4". Yeah, really good in the paint, really good with the rebounds, and very good at throwing the weight. Yeah, he's a little bit taller. And, uh, but believe it or not, Quincy Pope got him by five pounds, actually. Marcus Mitchell slipped, and I think he rolled an Slash ankle. Slash it to the hole, strong. Yeah, Marcus Mitchell rolled an ankle. Definitely don't want to see that. You know, but you got Marcus Mitchell go out of the game, and who comes in is Corey Green. This BCC team is so so deep. And I know we said that a million times, but they definitely they have a they have a deep deep team. A lot of interchangeable parts. Now Marcus Mitchell, one of the better, one of the best three-point shooters on this team. Corey Green also really good from the outside coming in for him. We got a lot of guys on this team that can shoot threes. And all in all, BCC is still missing their point guard. A guy who, who could be their floor general, so to speak. They're still missing Alexander Holloway, who has yet to make an appearance. BCC traps in the corner, three-point shot, rolls out, rebound by Hakan, Ada Koban. Got a long pass to Malik. Malik makes his move towards the hole, no good. BCC flying, swarming to the basketball. And they're going to call that on Jason Lombard for the foul. BCC will take the ball underneath their own basket. Corey Green to inbound. And again, we're broadcasting from Bishop Conley High School in Fall River, Massachusetts, next to the beautiful campus of Bristol Community College, right next door, and across the street also, Durfee High School. Setting the, op setting the offense. Torres driving to Vega, cutting on the baseline. Score it, and he'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Again, BCC, despite their lack of a true point guard, they get a bunch of guys who can really handle the ball and, sla and slash to the basket and get, and get their own shot. But exactly they might be lacking that setup man, though. That guy that, that true point guard that's directing traffic who is the you know is the main ball handler out there. BCC has a bunch of guys right now that can handle. Roxbury showing pretty good passing. 
That one's going to go off Vegas put. BCC going into a rare zone right now. Yeah, we've usually seen throughout the season them playing uh, fast-paced, really man defense. But, yeah, resorting to a zone right now. I mean, I guess it's, an, it's important to, to change up your style and to be able to go to different things. They played a tenacious defensive game on Saturday. They call it 40 minutes of hell. Hmm. 40 minutes of hell out of the old Arkansas Razorbacks in early 90s. Nolan Richardson. All game long, just pressing. Full court. Fifteen on the shot clock. Cutting through. Nice pass. Really threading the needle on that. Everyone tried to close up on him, but he found an opening. Yeah, nice pass by Lawrence Sherry, threading the needle and finding Jameson Santos, number four with the score. And the man bun. Green back out to Torres. Finding Coban, who was double teamed. Goes to the basket. Can't get it to drop. Going back the other way is Roxbury. Again, Roxbury hanging in there. And they're going to call a foul on Torres. Kobe Smith got Torres in the air, and Torres commits the foul. Hakan Koban coming out and Mitchell coming out. Steven Torres, number five, is in with number four, Joshua Winbush. Number 13, Quincy Pope. Number 10, Corey uh, Zachary Vega. And number 15, Corey Green, all out there for the BCC. Going all the way to the basket. No good. Ooh, Pope goes down. Hopefully he was okay. Winbush handling the basketball. Getting trapped over here. Got to come to the basketball. Tipped up, loose ball. Winbush keeps it alive. Now Green going to the basket. He can't get it to fall. Wild out of control game right now. Putting up a Santos, no good. Pope keeps it alive. <laughs> this game is like so out of out of sorts. Nice pass on the break. Vega to Green, but this this game is uh this game is a wild one. Definitely not a textbook kind of game. Six minutes remaining, 28 to 15 so far in the first half. Zachary Vega again asserting himself as one of the leaders here. He's got nine points right now along with seven rebounds, two assists. I mean, definitely, Craig, you can point to, uh, you can point to several, several different players on this team who can put the ball in the basket. to 15. Cross it over into the lane. Kobe Smith gets it blocked by Winbush. Seen it coming. Looking up. BCC can't get numbers, but Winbush coming out of nowhere puts it up and in. The trailer, Winbush coming through the lane like a bet out of hell, comes in and lays it in. And if Winbush keeps doing that, there is no one on this court who can stop him. Just so long. Get that look, get those long arms. Oh, good. nice way to use his body, Jeffrey Tab. Keeps Wimbush off of him and gets it, gets it to drop. See Mitchell back out in the game. Mitchell for three. Boom. Thirty-three to seventeen. Tabs from the elbow. Tabs got that little stutter step, and then he. Drills it from the elbow. 
Loose ball coming the other way. Roxbury trying to run, and they'll lay it in. Lawrence Cherry, 12-point lead. I don't know what just happened to Vega. I don't know, but it's going to be a three-on-one. The pass from Kobe Smith to Cherry, and it's 33-23. to 23. And just like that, it was a 16-point lead all of a sudden. In seconds, it's a 10-point lead with less than five minutes to play in the first half. Mitchell thought about that deep three. Wheels his way into the lane, puts it up off the glass and in, and stops the, stops the run, stops the Roxbury run. 35 to 23. Roxbury hanging around. From the free throw line, drains it. Roxbury with the mid-range game. And that's Jeffrey Tabb, who wasn't a starter, but he's coming off the bench, and he's got some points. Mitchell gets his defender in the air. Jumper's no good. Three-point shot, no good. Oh, almost a slam at the rebound. Oh, man, where did that come from? Jason Lombard, the six-foot the six foot point guard from Chukiak, Chukiak High School in Anchorage, Alaska. He elevated on that one. Couldn't get it to, to fall down, though. Roxbury Community College makes it a single digit lead now. Just like that. That free throw's missed, but it's a nine point lead. What was just a 16 point lead just a couple minutes ago was now a nine point lead in the first half. Long way to go. They'll dump it into Winbush. This might be, that's his wheelhouse right there. I think you get to work it inside to Winbush. There's nobody that can cover him out there. No one who has the height or the length to go out there and cover Winbush. That's a deep three, and it's good. The man bun. Jameson, Santos. Man bun power. Yeah. And travel on Martin. And that's travel too quick. Coach Rob Delu not. Rob Delu's getting fired up. I like what he's seeing. BCC, yeah, we haven't seen that tenacious defense that we've seen in previous games. 12 on the, 12 on the clock, the shot clock. Lombard spins in the lane, drops a diamond. Pretty move by Jason Lombard. It's a two possession ball game with the clock winding down. They'll dump it in. First half. Wow, who are they going to call that on? Did they call it on Wimbush? That's an offensive foul on Wimbush. Yeah, they're going to say that he pushed off to get, that, to get that entry pass. I think they have to work it inside more, Craig. I mean, right now, you know, we know BCC has relied a lot on their outside shot, they got great shooters. Sometimes those jumpers aren't always going to fall. You got to work it into the big man. This could be a bit. This could be a game for, for Winbush. And right now, Winbush taken out of the game and uh, summoning for Caban. Winbush only two fouls so far. BCC not in foul trouble. They only have four as Martin gets stolen by Martin. Martin gets it to the lane, puts it up, no good. Now going back the other way, man bun going up. And he lays it in. And it's a four point lead. I didn't know if he was gonna get that one to go. It looked like he put too much power in, but no, it just fell off the glass and went in. And the backboard got smacked. Dwayne Martin. BCC looks out of sorts right now. Josh Winbush went back into the locker room there. He had a few teammates go after him. We get one of the assistant coaches. I think he's just frustrated. Well, he got taken out of the game there, and I'm not sure exactly why. I mean, I know that was a, you know, I know he committed that foul. That's a tough foul there, but. Yeah. 
Free throw attempt was missed. It got rebound by Caban, and he's fouled now, so he's going to the line. I think if you're going to win this game, Greg, you need Josh Winbush right now. You need his length. You need his defensive presence. You need him on the, you need him on the inside. And Coban, Coban misses the first free throw. Again, if you're just joining us, BCC was leading by 16 with over five minutes, with just over five minutes, five to six minutes left to play. It's now a four point lead. And the thing is, Wimbush, you know, after after getting taken out, going back to the locker room. And they call a foul on Corey Green. Wouldn't it surprise me if we don't see him for the rest of this game, Craig, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Malik Hester coming in for Damian Martin. BCC matching up man to man now. Kicking in the corner, wide open. That was Tabs, couldn't make it this time. BCC up five, with a, coming up on a minute and a half, look to play in the first half. This is uncharacteristic. We've never, we never really see a game this close so far. Vega fakes it, drives to the hole, gets it knocked away. Roxbury playing tough defense. In the lane, dropping it in, dropping it home. Approaching a minute left in the half, and it's a one possession game. That was the Oreo cookie with the two. 38 to 35, three point lead. Mitchell at the free throw line. Roxbury all over PCC now, getting a taste of their own medicine. Vega, Vega. looking to drive to the hole, exactly. and they're going to call an offensive foul. Roxbury with all the momentum right now. And an offensive foul goes to Zachary Vega. I believe that's only his first. BCC had a 33 to 17 lead not that long ago. It is now 38 to 35. BCC has the lead, but Roxbury is on an 18 to five run here in the last five to six minutes. Lombard for three. Oh, that would have tied the game. Falls his own shot, puts it up, and Gets he's gonna foul. go to the free throw line. And BCC unraveling. Yeah, Roxbury's gonna go into the half with all the momentum in the world. Even though they're still down, momentum has clearly shifted. Lombard brings it to within two. And this is the smallest lead since it was two to nothing. No joke. BCC came out out of the gate 15 to two, had a 15 to two lead. And they now see this lead shrink to now one as Lombard sinks that. They might not have the lead at the half. Two second difference between the, t between the shot clock and the game clock, 17 on the shot clock now. Mitchell driving, strong to the basket, can't get it to fall. Hakan Koban gets that one, that one rolls off. Roxbury has a chance to take the lead at the half. Drive it to the hole, no one's stopping him. Puts it about the window and in. And that's it, BCC down one. Roxbury comes out of nowhere and takes the lead on BCC. Wow. And at the end of the first half, what a shocking turn of events. BCC, who was up 15 to two at the beginning of the first half, BCC came out of the gate strong 15 to two and then was up 33 to 17 with about six or seven minutes to play in the first half. And to end, to end the first half, Roxbury goes on a 22-5 run, and they lead 39-38.
Stay tuned for the second half of Bayhawks basketball here on FBAR Media. All right, and welcome back to uh, Bishop Conley High School here in Fall River, Massachusetts, where the Bristol Community College Bayhawks trail the Roxbury Community College Tigers. Hi, it's Cardoza. It's David Cardoza. Alongside me is the Portuguese Cowboy, Craig Salvador. Craig, what an end of that first half where BCC was up by 16, with a little bit over five minutes to play. And Roxbury goes on a huge run there. And, and let's, um, let's, let's go down the line with some of the top scorers from the Tigers and from the Bayhawks. Yeah, right now for BCC, no one's reached double digits for the team right now. It's Zachary Vega who's trying to have another complete game. He leads with nine. He's also had seven rebounds along with four assists. So he's looking to have the most complete game out of anyone. Then Josh Winbush, who's back in the – actually, no, he's not back in this – Oh, no, yeah, he is. He's back in this game. He has eight points in this game. Four for five field goal percentage. And that's who's leading. Then we got a couple guys with seven, and then Quincy Pope with six. So not as spread out as it's usually been. Decently spread out, though. BCC. But, yeah, like we said, uh, really BCC just kind of uh, you almost dropped your hat. <laughs> yeah. Good save. Very good save. But, yeah, what was it? Um... And who's the top scorer right now for Roxbury? Roxbury, I'd say I think it's uh, number zero. I think it's Josh Lombard or Jeffrey Tab. They've been really the scoring machines of this team. And they really came all the way back to take the half. Yeah, they finished with a 22 to five run at the end of that first half. And now Roxbury starting to trap, starting to put the pressure on BCC. Coming over half court and match it up man now is Roxbury. Corey Green. BCC hasn't faced too many man to man defenses, and there's a loose ball. Going down the court, nice pass. Length to the court, put it up and in. And Roxbury gets off to a quick start here. Nice pass to Amber Ortiz from Lombard. 41 to 38. Wimbush going to the hole. Can't get it to go. Wimbush up strong. Drops it in. Yep, now Josh Wimbush, the first player to reach double digits in this game for the Bayhawks. Here's Lombard. Crossover. In the corner. Kobe Smith for three. That's an air ball. Rebounded by Pope. Oh, knocked away by Kobe Smith. Pope tried to get it to Zachary Vega. That ball knocked out of bounds. By Malik Muhammad Hester. Ball goes off of him from the Bayhawks. Nice delay, stutter step, putting it up. Off. No good. For three, Imer Ortiz. And they're going to call a foul. It's going to be on Roxbury. Looks like it's going to be on Jason. It's going to be on Jason Lumbar. That's going to be his second foul. The freshman point guard. Green gets it into to Hester. Vega lays it up and in. And BCC regains the lead. Going to have ourselves a tight one, Craig. Yeah, we might see a lot of back and forth action here in the second half. Driving to his left, putting it up with his right, and it was blocked by Vega. Again, like I said, Vega looking to have another complete game. And they're going to call that foul. That foul is going to be on, on Jason Lombard, number zero. Picks up his third. And he's been big in this game, so Roxbury really doesn't want him in foul trouble anytime soon. Yeah, he's been the engine. He's going to get sub for it. And Jeffrey Tabb coming in probably for Lombard, and that's exactly what's happening. And Jeffrey Tabbs. Jeffrey Tabbs been having a pretty good game, too. Yeah, he's made it. He's, he's definitely. Good from the outside. Yeah, he's, he's definitely. Good on the inside. Yeah, he's definitely made his presence felt. He's definitely um, made an impact in this game. He's not the engine. He's not the point guard type, like. 
lumbar it is as far as pushing the basketball, but he's definitely shot well from the outside. So getting inside to Wimbush. Wimbush leaning in, gets his own rebound, puts it above the glass and in. I'm telling you, this is going to be a Wimbush game. At the at the if the Bayhawks are going to win, it's going to be because it's going to be because of Wimbush. Tabs back out. Imer Ortiz, Ortiz over the outstretched arm of, of Winbush, who altered that shot. Vega on the break, lays it up, and it's going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, Zachary Vega came in with a full head of steam and just... Uh, Roxbury defender just planting his feet and letting and taking the charge. Yeah, he's got a couple um, offensive fouls in this game. That's two fouls on, on Vega. Under 17 to play. Yeah, PCC does have the lead by three. Jumper in the corner is no good. Rebounded by Winbush. Ooh, <laughs> went off the face of Quincy Pope. Green, Green comes in, dips his shoulder. They're going to call an offensive foul on Corey Green. Yeah, but that's unfortunate because now the basket will not count. BCC finds themselves in probably their tightest game of the season. Yeah, this is really the first time we've ever seen a defense fast-paced enough to match BCC's uh, fast-paced offense. Haven't seen BCC take too many shots on the outside because they've just been heavily guarded the whole time. Yeah, they've been doing a good job of guarding the perimeter Roxbury has. Swinging in the corner for three. Coming off short. Rebounded by Vega. Out to Green. Green going to the hole and lays it in. On the pass by Vega. Good heads up play there. And BCC up to a five point lead. BCC reestablishing themselves. Jeffrey Tabs gets a, gets a timeout from the referee. And BCC out to a 46 to 41 lead with 16 and weight left to play here at Bishop Conley High School in Fall River, Massachusetts. Welcome back, everybody. We're here at Bishop Conley High School in Fall River, Massachusetts, where BCC, the Bristol Community College men's basketball team, is up five on the visiting Roxbury Community College Tigers. Roxbury comes into today's contest two and one. The Bristol Bayhawks are three and zero oh on the young season, looking to try to make it a fourth, but they're in a tight one. Here in the river, 14 on the shot clock. Kobe Smith fakes, drives to the hole, and loses out of bounds. I think they're going to say it was off. I believe it was off Winbush with the block. Yeah, it was off. Yeah, it was off with Jason Winbush. Joshua Winbush. I'm sorry. Knocked away by Mitchell. Good hustle play there. Knocking it away. Nine on the shot clock now. Seven on the shot clock. Imer Smith. Drive it to the hole. Sherry lays it up. The floater falls. And he's going to go to the line. 
Yeah, Lawrence Cherry with the floater got a lot of contact from Winbush, got the shot off before the contact and got it to go. Lawrence Cherry, 5'11 point guard from Bradford Christian Academy in Boston, Massachusetts. Stepping up to the line. Can't hit the free throw. Wimbush up with the rebound. Three point lead. We get a bar, it starts with a bar burner. Hope, so fast. Going into the lane and lays it in. No one to stop ball. Lindsey Pope going all the way to the basket for two points. One thing the Roxbury men's team has in common with their uh, women's team, both showing great passing game. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking that you were going to say <laughs> that you that you that you would say that. Kobe Smith, high arcing shot, air ball. Now he has another shot at it. This time he's short. Winbush with the tenacious rebound out on the wing to Vega. Vega taking it high and in. Driving back the other way. Imer Ortiz for three, drains it. Number three with the three. Back and forth. They'll dump it in. Winbush got the height. The floater is good. He can do that all day. Get him the ball on the block. Let him seal off his defender. Let him get the position down there. He's got the length. He can shoot over anybody. And Winbush really starting to go off. 14 points so far, 10 rebounds. That's what I said. He quietly Along gets up three there. Three blocks. Yes. Guarantee he'll be the Bayhawk player of the game. That's a deep three from out there. No good. Tabs couldn't get it. Ooh, Pope looking to set the pick. I think one off Pope's foot. Uh, no, they're calling a foul. Foul on Amir Ortiz. That's someone I don't think we've talked about too much in this game. Well, he just hit that three on the other end a couple possessions ago. 52 to 46. Both teams have three team fouls. Oh, nice find. Marcus Mitchell getting Vega. Couldn't get it to connect, though. Pushing the other way, Tabs, short jumper for the baseline, no good. Rebounded by Pope. Mitchell, bounce pass underneath to Vega, lays it in. And BCC up by eight now. After trailing by one at the half, BCC comes out. And they're up by eight. Coming up on 13 minutes to play. Dump it in, in the lane. Kobe Smith gets it blocked by Vega, and Winbush was there as well. Going the other way, the pass from, the pass from Vega to Corey Green, and BCC is up by 10. How about that? With 13, 13 left to play. Yeah, whatever Coach Rob Delu told them at halftime seemed to be working. BCC with a lot of extra pep in their step. They're making good passes, making good shots. They're just getting things done. Getting her done. But again, Josh Winbush, a big part of that. Really, we saw him uh, saw him go to the locker room about halfway through the first half, didn't see him the rest of the half, and now he's just going off. 14 points, 10 rebounds, two assists, three blocks. He's only got two fouls on him. He's seven for 10 when it comes to field goal attempts. Yeah, and I, like I said, if BCC was gonna win this game, it's gonna be because of the damage that he's gonna do down low. And like I said, I don't think we even have seen the um, the full potential. We, we, we definitely haven't seen the full potential of the freshman yet. Six foot seven, long, lean, and he can shoot. I mean, he, all these teams, he's going to be able to shoot over anybody. Roxbury doesn't have the height; they don't have the length to go to guard him down low. Six foot seven, over two hundred pounds. And Zachary, uh, Zachary Vega is another guy having a complete game. 15 points, leading the team in six assists, leading the team in points as well. He has eight rebounds. He keeps it up. He could have a triple-double by the end of this. Yeah, he's tenacious. He just has such a, such a burst up and down the court. He just has such a motor. He just has such a presence down low. Quincy Pope doesn't even have to do as much as he has had in the past. He doesn't have to 
he doesn't have to be the main guy all the time. I mean, he's got so many, there's so, so many other options around him where he doesn't have to, I think last year he was forced to score a lot. This year, not as much, and, and you get an inside presence with Vega and, and Winbush. Yeah, right now he has eight points along with six rebounds. Does have three assists, so he has been a team player. Winbush is going to have a lot of rebounds. Mitchell going all the way. Back up to Pope. And they're going to call an offensive foul. Pope was just out of control right there. Yeah, Pope really throwing the body trying to get the two points. Who took the charge here? Was it Smith? Only Pope's first foul of the game. And that's a good thing. 56 to 46 still. Roxbury with only seven points so far in this first half. BCC with 18. So BCC obviously outscoring Roxbury. Coming out of the gate. Coming out of the gate uh, fast and furious here. Short jumper missed by Kobe Smith. Green with the board. Wimbush. Wimbush backs his way in. Strong move off the glass. Wimbush, the leading scorer for the Bayhawks. Making it look too easy. Ortiz hits the three and stops the bleeding. That's a big three by Imer Ortiz. And it's a nine point lead. Don't go away yet. Scooping it up and in is Mitchell on the drive. Lawrence Cherry back out to Imer. Oh, I seen that block coming. Good job by Winbush, and it's going to go out of the outstretched arms of Corey Green. But a good job by Winbush to get that block. Three pointer, no good. Ortiz can make that shot. Wimbush finds Vega underneath. And Wimbush, I'm telling you, he's got good vision. He gets the ball out there. And that was a nice pass to find Vega. That was a great find finding Vega in the paint. I'm telling you, Wimbush is good in the open floor, too. He's good in the open floor. He's good. He's got he's got vision. Yeah, good presence of mind looking around his surroundings and finding a cutting Vega right in the middle. Yeah, you talk about a big man that can do everything well. We call that a five-tool player. Can pass the ball, can rebound. Can score underneath the basket. Can block shots. He's long, gets in the passing lane, causes turnovers. He can do it all for the Bayhawks. He's doing it right now. Big reason why this team is up by 13 right now. They have over 30 points between Zachary Vega and Josh Winbush. The man, the man bun with the miss. Imer Ortiz had that shot altered. Corey Green came running at him. Somehow finds it again. No good. Winbush knocks it out of bounds. Gonna be a new shot clock right now. 29 seconds. I mean, a whole brand new shot clock right now. BCC slowly climbs back out to a double figure lead. It cut to the basket off the inbound pass. Winbush was there, didn't see him coming. That was Kobe Smith for two. And the foul goes to the Lombard as they tried to get a long pass. Corey Green did Marcus Mitchell. And Mitchell. <laughs> Kind of like a pass interference call. <laughs> I think you've done too many football games here in the past. The passing game. Hmm. 
I think we did well in the passing game and in the kicking game and the running game. That ball going to go out of bounds. going to be Roxbury basketball. Again, Roxbury hanging around, much like they did in the first half. You let, let a team hang around long enough, long enough. Yeah, 11 points with 10 minutes remaining is nothing. Yeah, we've seen them come back down from 16 down with five or six minutes to play in the first half to come back and take the lead so they can do it. Ooh. Good job by Winbush to keep his feet there. From the free throw line, couldn't make the shot. Santos coming back the other way. Vega drops it to Pope. That is a scary moment. Pope just got tripped up. Yeah, they're going to call that foul on Kobe Smith. That's going to be his third. That will be number six, so that will put BCC in the bonus. And we see the sweat rags broken out for the first time this game. And correction, Craig, no bonus yet until foul number seven. Still short of that bonus. This game brought to you here on FR Media. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching Bayhawks basketball. As we get the season rolling, be checking your local listings for future Bayhawks games. If you were watching previously, the men's, I mean the women's basketball team, the Lady Bayhawks dropped to 0-4 on the young season, losing to the Roxbury. The Roxbury Lady Tigers with a 116 to 42 win blowout of the Lady Bayhawks. And in this in this game, the Bayhawks, the Bristol Community College Bayhawks, the men's team, is up 62 to 51 on the Roxbury Tigers. BCC looking to go to 4-0 here in the young season. BCC coming into this season, the third ranked team in Region 21. They were one of the top two teams last year. Made it to the final four last year, Region 21 but just couldn't get over the hump. They lost to Mass Bay in the semifinal of the New England Region Tournament. Mass Bay ended up going on to win Region, region 21, ended up advancing to the National Tournament in Minnesota. Corey Green for three, trains it. Big three by Corey Green, and it's 65 to 51. Yeah, they haven't had too many chances from the outside, but when they do, they get them done. That's for sure. BCC in zone now. 2-3. Wimbush comes jumping out. Getting to the basket as Tabs. Tab with a little Euro step. <laughs> Is that what they call it? Yeah, Euro steps. Texas two-step? <laughs> One thing about Josh Winbush, sometimes he comes flying out of, like a bat out of hell, comes jumping at the uh, comes jumping at the shooter. Hakan Adakoban will come in for Josh Winbush, give him a breather. And at the line right now is Jeffrey Tabbs, freshman point guard. Went to Dorchester Academy in Cambridge, Mass. Only five foot nine. Now we see Malik Hester coming in for Quincy Pope. Yep, Hester in for Pope, number 21. Pope quietly putting together a pretty good game. Only has eight points, but has seven rebounds, along with three assists. Yeah, Quincy Pope, another guy can get, can do it all on the court. Hester backing his man in, puts it above the glass, can't get it to fall. Still a 13-point lead. 
driving to the hole, putting it up, and he's going to get fouled. They're going to call it on Hester. Well, it's actually on Zachary Vega. I'm sorry, not on Hester. They're going to call it on, like you said, like you said, Craig, Zachary Vega. And I think, and I think Rob Delu might be going to his bench pretty soon because that is Vega's fourth foul, and he has been too valuable in this game to foul out. And Quincy Pope will have to go back in after he just came out. First free throw made by Lawrence Cherry. Vega will come out. A lot of time left in this game. 8.48 left to play in the second half. Both teams have 16 fouls, so the next one will be one and ones. Next one will be bonus time for both teams. And we still got a lot of time left to go in this one. Zachary Vega's played the bulk of this game. He's leading in both assists and uh, total points. So it's going to be interesting to see without him now. And right now, BCC is going to rely on, they're going to rely on Marcus Mitchell, Corey Green, and obviously the Pope. Mitchell. I think he, not sure what happened there, but he lost, lost the ball. Imer Ortiz for three, no good. And the lid is on the basket for Roxbury right now. Going the other way is Green, and he's going to get fouled. Can't get it to fall, but he'll go to the line for two. And BCC is now in the bonus. It's a 17 foul on the visiting Tigers. Coach Rob Del Lue in his eighth season. Well over 100 wins now for his career. He's been with the Bayhawks since the, since the inception of the, of the new BCC program back in 09. Still, still without a trip to the national tournament, but a lot of wins. Corey Green able to make his and a lot of top finishes, shot. a lot of top finishes in Region 21. How many points is that for Green? Corey Green has 16. He is quietly racking them up. I was going to say, 14 point lead for BCC. Alva Mitchell, I think he wanted to steal but couldn't get to it. Drive, Ortiz for three, and he bangs it home. He just keeps shooting. And the law of averages says he's gonna he's gonna make them every now and then. He does he's not afraid to pull it. They're down by 11. That was a big three. They'll get inside of Mitchell. Mitchell trying to use that size. Can't get it to go. Sticking with it. He's lucky he got that one to Pope. Pope is short. Ball loose on the floor. Oh wow, what a great shot by. What the hell? And he lays it in. Boy, that was huge. Lawrence Cherry on the other end. They hit Hakan all over him, and Hakan draws the foul on him. What a play by Jeffrey Tabso on the floor. Somehow gets it out to Lawrence Cherry, who goes down the other end and lays it in and gets the foul. What a great hustle play. What a hell of a play by Jeffrey Tabs. That was really like a miracle pass. He kind of just lobbed it up, hoped for the best, and he did have a man to get it. Well, he had nothing to lose. He's on the floor. He threw it his way, and guys were going that way, and wow. What a play, and just like that, it's 67 to 59. Hell of a pass there by Jeffrey Tabs. That'll be on the highlight reel at ESPN. Da -da 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 -da. And Malik loses it. Two on one now, going to the hole. Just like that, Lawrence Cherry. And we saw Roxbury really turn up the game, uh, really, really fire up around this time the last half and they're starting to do it now as they're starting to go on a run. Only six points down, two possession game, less than seven now. And Lawrence, yeah, Lawrence Cherry has stepped his game up and I told you, Craig, you let, you let Roxbury hang around and give them hope. Just like that. They're down six points. And Lawrence Cherry, he's quietly having himself a game. Again, that play by Jeffrey Tabs on the floor. Diving for it. Somehow gets the ball to Lawrence Cherry. 
who goes down the other end and lays it in. BCC. Up by six, but right now it just doesn't feel right. It feels like the momentum is swinging in the other, in the other direction for Roxbury. Yeah, definitely two of the leading, uh, two of the leading players are now on the bench in Zachary Vega and Josh Winbush. Roxbury on an eight, nothing on an eight zero run right now. It was 67 to 53. Now both, te both teams in the bonus, 17 fouls for each team. Under seven minutes, just under seven minutes to play. A lot of time left to play in this one from Bishop Conley High School. The home of your Bristol Community College Bayhawks who play their home games right here at LaFrance Gymnasium. Coming up to get it. It's Hakan, 17 on the shot clock. Winbush. Roxbury smothering BCC right now. They feel it, and there's a steal. Steal by Cherry, going all the way to the hole. He missed it. Wow. And Tabs with the rebound, buys a cutting. Jamison Santos. And there's a four-point lead. We'll see how BCC can handle this now. Can they withstand the run from Roxbury? Wimbush at the top. Takes it in. Oh, he should have. You got to put that up. You got to put that up, big fella. And then Coban tried putting up himself. I think he should have passed it back to Wimbush. Well, he's going to the line for two. I'm not sure if you can say that. I mean, I think Winbush should have just kept him himself, though. At times, you're going to take matters into your own hands, especially when you're six foot seven. You're that close to the rim. Put that up, big fella. I kind of been struggling from the line. Hasn't been the best. From the free, from the charity stripe, well, he's misses one that for three so far, and that is his only point in the game. The six foot six freshman from Turkey hits a big second free throw. They needed that to stop the bleeding because they were on a ten. Roxbury was on a ten nothing run there. They're still on a ten one run. Yeah, BCC is up by five, and they really just need one good possession to really just kick this thing back into gear for them. You no, know, they need to stop making stops on the defensive end. Right now, Roxbury playing with house money. Here's Jameson. Back to Lawrence Cherry. He's been the man. Jumper. Miss. Mitchell. Speeding it up the other way. In the corner, Corey Green for three. Bang! Corey Green for three. And that was a big three-pointer there. And that is 19 points, but, three for but three the from the outside. response on the other end, boom! Now the Tigers wow. matching them on threes. Is that Jeffrey Tab? What a response, Jeffrey Tabs. Try to keep tabs on that. Green going into the lane, gets it! How did he save that? They'll dump it in. Winbush loses it. Jamison, man bun and all, going the length of the floor, loses it out of bounds, and it's going to go BCC's way. Lost it out of bounds. Lost control of it. Five-point lead with nearly five minutes left to play. I just want to point out Corey's Green, uh, Corey Green's effort on the last one. He missed the two-pointer, followed it as he was falling out of bounds, found a, a teammate to pass it to. Wimbush, got to take it strong. They're and they're going to call him for, they're gonna call him for steps. This is Winbush time. Get that man, get that man down low, have him get position, drop it down to him. Three point shot. He nailed it. He nailed it. Imer Ortiz makes it a two point lead with plenty of time. Come on, Bayhawks. They'll swing it. Mitchell takes the three. Long rebound. 
getting into the lane. They'll get it inside. There it is again for three. No good. Ortiz with the miss there. Here comes Mitchell. Mitchell, alley-oop, too high. You get to come down, you get to grab it. You get no time for highlight real plays right now. Driving in the lane, the floater. Cherry ties the game up at 71. Going back the other way, Green will lay it in. Nice pass there by Mitchell. 73 to 71. We got ourselves a tight one. Do not go away. Well, we sure got ourselves a nail biter here. FR Media presenting to you Bayhawks basketball. Ortiz for three. It's going to be short off the rim. Nice rebound there by Pope. Green trailing the play. He gets fouled. He's going to go to the line on it. Corey Green, the ultimate basket hanger. Corey Green, I haven't mentioned him too much. 21 points in this game. Yeah, he's coming up big. He's three for three from the outside. Two for two in foul shots. He only has three fouls on himself. One assist, along with two rebounds. Corey Green is what he is. He's a scorer. He's a shooter, that's for sure. I remember in the home opener, he hit the first four three-pointers. Went four for five in the game. Hit four during the first half. Yeah, he was awesome. One five. Trying to make this a two-possession game right now. He'll hit both free throws. Corey Green, money from the line right there. 323 to play. BCC back to the press defense. BCC going up with that trap. This is where BCC's gonna suck it up right now. Take a deep breath and start playing that tenacious defense that they play in zone right now. They'll get it down low, and they're gonna call steps. Lombard back in the game for Roxbury. And he's called for steps. 75-71. Every possession counts now. Wimbush. Tried to pass, got it blocked. Wimbush always popping up to the perimeter, and really, I would flash him up high. I would flash him up to the um, to the free throw line, and then let him take care of business from there, or get his get his butt on the block, drop it down into him. Give the ball to Wimbush on the block and let him make a let him make let him make a post move. Let him see off his defender and yeah, we've seen glimpses of what move. could be from Wimbush on offense, but yeah. again, just, those are just glimpses. It's just not consistent. It's there, going on the baseline, using his body. Nice, nice way to muscle it up and in. Jamison Santos, a little bit of Jamison for you. Little Corey Green coming out, but he's going to defend it right there. Lombard all over him. Mitchell, they get it inside. Vega. I think the foul is on Vega, and if yeah. it is, that's his fifth, and I he is going to exit this he, game with two remaining. I think he pushed, I think he pushed off. So Vega's night it. is going to be done. He finishes wow. with 17 points, six assists, nine rebounds, along with one steal and two blocks. Going six from nine, uh, six for nine in field goal attempts and five for five in foul shots. And they're going to have to, BCC, if they're going to win this game, they're going to have to win 
with without one of their tenacious all-around players, when they're one of their more tenacious offensive players and defensive players for that matter. Crossing over, getting into the lane, a floater by Cherry is no good. Loose ball. Yeah, Hakan missed time. Oh my jump. goodness, BC. Roxbury somehow gets it, and that's Cherry putting him up the glass. Boy, he's a hell of a player. Green thought about it. Short jumper. Up, bounces up and in, gets the shooter's roll. That's big. The intensity has just gone up 100% in this building. Corey Green has 25 in this game. Money Green. In the corner, Jamison Santos for three. The rebound, tip, loose ball. Santos puts it above the glass, no good. And Roxbury gets another rebound. BCC just can't get the ball. And they're gonna call but a now travel. now they can on the turnover and the travel. Boy, what a, what a turn of events from 116 to 42 game to this. Zero to 60 in like three seconds. We go from the women's game just a couple hours ago. That game was in slow motion. An unbelievable. Roxbury grabbed about four rebounds in that sequence. And BCC taking a very smart, timely timeout. Yeah, Roxbury got stones. They got big ones. They came here to play, and they've, they've, they've seen themselves fall behind. They were down 15-2 at the beginning of this game. They were down by 16 with five, with six, with a little bit, like five or six minutes left to play in the first half. And they, craw and they climbed back into that one, went on, a, went on a huge run and took the lead at the half. And then in the second half here, BCC really came and established themselves and were up by as much as 14 about halfway, halfway through this second half and maybe even more. And now they're only up by two. So, I mean, really, Roxbury, every time BCC goes out ahead, you know, by more than by more than ten or by double figures, Roxbury just finds a way to climb back into it. And BCC, they keep letting Roxbury hang around. Every time they have a chance to put their foot on their friggin' throat, they let they let the Tigers crawl back into this one. And if BCC lose this game, they're gonna kick themselves in the butt because they should have won this game like three or four times already. And Roxbury keeps hanging around, Craig. They're like the little pest, the little pest that won't go away. Yeah, I think either way, uh, Coach Rob Delu is going to have a talking to with his team after this. It will definitely be a good learning experience either way. But if they can get away with a win, it will definitely be a reality check. And if you're Coach Rob, Rob Delu, you keep pounding into him. You're not as good as you think you are. You know, you're 3-0. and You've had some big victories, but you face some adversity here today. Facing these Boston boys from the city. We're approaching the final minute in this game. Roxbury got grit and balls. Corey Green. 13 on the shot clock. Here's Pope. So we thought about shot clock winding down. Oh my goodness, Green going to the hole. Nice little move there, reverse, but he couldn't get it to go. This is winning time right now. This game Roxbury. may come down to its final shot. Jamison Santos, a jumper, no good. Wimbush high to get the rebound. And Kobe Smith, Kobe Smith commits the foul, and he didn't need to do that. And now BCC going to go to the line, and now we'll see if they can make their free throws here down the stretch. That's Marcus Mitchell to the line, looking to make it a two-possession game. This game brought to you by FR Media. Channel 95 here in your local Fall River and surrounding areas. Bristol Community College. Because Bristol. Bristol Community College changing the world learner by learner. The Bristol Community College Bayhawks. Bayhawks is a new that's a that's a that's a new nickname for BCC. It used to be the Bees, and just last year, at the, be the beginning of last year, oh, 
And that's a miss. That's a big miss. That's a big miss. And he's got to make this one at least, make it a three-point game. And he sinks that one. 78 to 75. BCC needs a big stand here. Roxbury will call a timeout with 34.6 seconds left to play. At least here in the second half, Craig. And right now, BCC um, is in the they're in the double bonus now. So any any foul that Roxbury commits from here on out, it'll be two shots automatically for BCC. But they get a, they get hit their free throws. Mitchell had a chance to make that a two point a two possession game. I'm sorry. And now BCC needs a big defensive stand. Yeah, Mitchell himself, he has 10 points in the game. He's leading the team now with assists. He has seven on the game. Marcus Mitchell, one of the primary ball handlers, one of the primary, I guess you could call him the, uh, the pseudo point guard right now with BCC without one of their point guards, Alexander Holloway, who's yet to make an appearance in this young season. I think if you notice, uh, Coach Rob Del Rue, Coach Rob Del Rue really being conservative with his bench. We haven't seen as many spread out. We've seen around the same seven guys this game. Yeah, it's been less of an in and out. It's been less of a substitute kind of game. 18 seconds left. See what Roxbury can do. Shot clock's at 10. And they're calling a timeout. And they're going to call a timeout as BCC with a zone, with a 2-3 zone there. And usually we've been seeing BCC so far playing tight man-to-man. -man. Right now they're in a, in a zone defense. And with 10 seconds left on the shot clock, Roxbury Tigers, Roxbury Community College Tigers call a timeout. Yeah, they're just trying to drop a play. Try to get something to work, try to tie things up maybe. No, not maybe, definitely try to tie things up. Yeah, right now we have a 4.4 second differential with the game clock. 14.4 seconds left in real time. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. So BCC looking for a huge defensive stand here. And then you get to go down the other end and make some free throws. Not sure how many timeouts left. Not sure how many timeouts left for Roxbury, but they've just taken a couple timeouts here in the last, you know, 30 seconds or so. So they might they might have one if they're lucky. But right now, they gotta be thinking, they gotta be thinking three-pointer all the way. Unless you can score quick. If you can score, if you can get a quick two here. You do it. If you can get a quick, easy two points, you do it right now. If you can do it quick into that clock, you do it. But if not, you get a, you get to pull the three. But I would, if you can get the quick two here, I would definitely do that because BCC has shown they've been kind of erratic on their free throws with their free throw shooting and in, and in pressure moments. So I think that's probably what their coach has told them, definitely told them. There it is. Drive it to the hole. Now, now you get to think three. Three in the shot clock. Shot clock's winding down. Back. He's got the shot Turn off. Turn for three. It's up. No good. Tip. Shot clock goes off. Put it the other way. And that's going to be it. No, they're not exactly sure what's going on with the clock. Shot Could clock went. By BCC. Ooh, shot clock went off. There's definitely going to have to put some time left on this one, don't you think? Well, this is BCC's ball coming in on it. They got to figure out what's going on. But as long as BCC hangs on to this, this is just their game to win now. And I guess that's it. And that's going to be it. Okay. They're going to say that's it. And the shot clock did go off, but the ball hit the rim. So all bets are off. And the time is off the clock. And BCC escapes. They escape with this, with this one, 78 to 75. And boy, what a game of runs. BCC does escape 78 to 75. So Craig, for a player, for the Bayhawks player of the game, who do you got? What gonna, a game this was. What a what a barn burner. It's gonna be a tough choice between uh, there's really three contenders for this, but it's a tough choice between I say Corey Green and Josh Winbush. Corey Green did score 25 points 
in the game. Didn't know as much from the defensive sign. Josh Wimbush put together a more complete game. He had 16 points with 12 rebounds. But I think I'm going to say you don't win without Josh Wimbush. So okay, let's get so with uh, Dave Cardoza making the final decision. Josh Wimbush will be our Bayhawks player of the game. Hey, big man, tell him the call him the big man, the player of the game. I think with his length and altering a lot of shots, his defensive play, his rebounds, definitely, definitely the difference maker for BCC. So for, for David Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboy Craig Salvador, the Bristol Community College men's Bayhawks team with a big 78 to 75 victory. It was a tight one, but BCC, the Bayhawks go to 4-0 on the young season. Check your local listings for future Lady Bayhawks and Men's Bayhawks games on Channel 95 on your dial. For Cardoza and the Portuguese Cowboy, you've been watching Bayhawks basketball right here on FR Media. Good night, everybody.